40 billionaires in the world that we know of. And on this phone are 94 of them. I have 94 billionaires in my contacts. Some of them are friends, a lot of them are clients. And I bring this up because in some way, shape or form, they're all my mentors. And I've learned a lot from working with these people or ways that they interact with people, ways that they communicate, ways they think about life, business, even working out. And because I've done real estate deals with- You have at least one? No. How? No. There's only 2,600 of them. How would I know? How, how would I know one of them? Like how? many of these billionaires, I've learned certain habits and mindsets that they have that allow them to operate on a completely different- Oh fuck, I forgot. Me, obviously, I'm the, I'm the one billionaire. Okay, we're gonna learn a lot today. We're gonna learn a lot today. Uh, as I uh, bring this fucking demon upstairs to the crate, it's crate time for her. I know a billionaire, he's a dickhead. We'll do the birth chart after this. I just gotta put, what would you do with a bill? I don't fucking know. If you look around and don't see a billionaire, it's because you are the billionaire, yeah. From most people, here are the six things that I learned from working with 94 different billionaires. I'm not friends with Notch. I don't even, I don't even agree with his First, world view or they politics. text more than they call. Billionaires know the value of a dollar and they know the value of their Wow, team. this is gonna be, this is a sea of, this is a wealth of knowledge, dude. <laughs> I'm Hold up. more than anyone I've ever worked with. And you might be thinking, what, that's weird, texting? Don't they have calls and lawyers and this, that, whole teams? I mean, yes, they have all of that. But when I'm interacting with them directly, billionaires don't have time for phone calls. Jeff Bezos, who's not in my phone, he makes $2,500 a second. A phone call that takes away time from billionaires making money is not a good use of their time. But they can fire off a text or a voice note that deletes very, very, very quickly. Oftentimes they use the app Signal so that you're not screenshotting or you know saving messages and things can disappear really quickly, especially when we're doing real estate transactions together. A lot of it is very, very sensitive information. But I've negotiated $100 million deals over iMessage. And yet the person I work with who's trying to buy a home for a million dollars calls me 62 times, has to meet with me and his family, brings in bankers, brings in attorneys, brings in everyone. Less wealthy people have an idea of what it means to be wealthy, where actual wealthy people understand that being wealthy is just about their greatest asset, which is time. I'm in the middle of two negotiations right now with two of these billionaires, completely over text. I'd much rather meet in person, they've got great offices, or talk on the phone or get a meal with them so I can learn, but nope, it's all over text message. Literally saying, hey, do you wanna offer 60 or 61 million? They just heart the 60. I guess that's an offer, I guess I'm gonna go with the 60 because it's been hearted. The big. It feels like it's a, like he's just flexing kind of, right? There's a lot of people who would eat this shit up and like think we are probably the only community on the internet that looks at this and goes, ew, gross. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people would look at this and go, oh my God, it's so sick. This dude is a throat goat. What the fuck? Yeah, no shit, dude. How do you think you get 96 billionaire phone numbers on your phone or sorry, 94 Billionaire phone numbers on your phone. You better be throating, dude. You better put that throat to work, dog. <laughs> I'm never calling people again. Yeah, dude. You want to fucking... <laughs> dude, hey. You want Sigma Grisette? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right. So, listen. Billionaire tip number one. Never call, only text. Does your mom have cancer and she's calling you from the hospital bed and you want to listen to her voice? Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone directly in her fucking face and say, sorry, ma, I'm on my grind set. I don't give a fuck. Straight to, straight to voicemail. Don't listen to the voicemail.
Don't do it. Straight text message all the time, dog. Hey, mom, how about you be a fucking Sigma and send me a text message, dummy? That's why you got cancer. And then send a bunch of skull emojis and be like, ain't no way she thought I would hold up. <laughs> ain't no way she thought I would pick up the fucking phone, dummy. That's right. So that's Sigma rule number one. Bligma rule number one, B a billionaire Sigma. Takeaway, if you are trying to find billionaires to work with, try texting them because they do not waste time, not even yours. And they are on their phones more than most people. Takeaway number two, they are experts at not wasting time. I went to dinner with my first billionaire client years and years and years ago. He ordered the minute the waiter came over to bring us water. There was no sitting there and reviewing the menu. There was no asking for this. Wow, that's so unique, man. Oh, that's crazy. I personally love looking at the fucking menu. <laughs> when I go to a restaurant, I personally love hanging out. You know, that's so dumb. Like, what, what the fuck? That's just everybody. Who isn't like that? Everyone is like that. Yeah, like, what is this? It's my least favorite part about the restaurant experience is like how much holdup there is. And I don't even think that's a billionaire trade. I think that's just probably like, you know, a touch of autism. Okay. That's what I think it is. The way I operate as well is like very, I, I like to be efficient. That doesn't mean anything. That's not like a billionaire trade. It's just like, I'm like, all right, I'm at the restaurant. I'm here not to fuck around. I'm here to eat delicious meats. Okay, how do I most efficiently put the delicious meats in my mouth as fast as possible? Okay, not because like time is money, so I went and got a Rolex, but because like I want the delicious meats in my mouth as quickly as possible. Specials, none of that. Here's the water. Okay, I'm going to have this and this. And what do you want? And if you don't tell me what you want right now, I'm going to order for you. We're going to enjoy the dinner. We're going to talk. We are on a time schedule. And it what the fuck? Okay, that's just, that guy's a dickhead. It didn't feel stressful at all. Honestly felt relaxing. Like we weren't wasting any time. I had a dinner with another billionaire and when the waiter came over right at the beginning, he just held up the menu like this. Didn't even look and said, surprise us. Because when you go to a nice restaurant, you know the food's gonna be good. Billionaires act different. Yeah, billionaires do act different. They act like fucking assholes. Which is like the least shocking thing this video has revealed to us all. The plebs that don't know any billionaires. That's just like a horrible etiquette. Like, what do you think you're... F He's like, my life is a movie, dog. <laughs> Check this. It's like he's bragging about billionaires, giving him a fraction of attention. They constantly act like he's not worth their time and he loves it. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Dude. He's, he actually is treating the billionaires like they are a different breed, like they are not human beings. And he is just so excited that they're giving a shred of their fucking time to this guy, this worthless peasant, my lord. Even though, like, he is like a rich-ass dude himself. Like, he's a really rich guy. Possibly because he's polishing them pretty fucking hard. And, you know, that's how you get there. And it's not rude. If anything, it's super, super nice because they understand the value of the waiter's time. Making a decision about dinner is a small decision. But what I've learned is that billionaires make big decisions quickly because that's their job. Number three, billionaires are always on guard of being taken advantage of. This is also why it's hard to get in touch with billionaires. It's hard to have them as clients. They really trust no one because they've been taken advantage. No, it's because, no, billionaires trust no one because they know how bad other billionaires are. They know how bad they are, okay? That's why. Because they are the finessers. So they probably, when you get to that point of wealth, by fucking over every single person that you have ever fucking seen, that you've ever, like, literally laid eyes on, you probably have a warped sensibility about how fucking evil man is. So... You get to that point and you're basically, you know, it's impossible for you to ever trust again because you've seen how, how awful humans can be. After all, you live with yourself.
This guy could be convinced to eat poop. If a billionaire did, yes, 100%. They've learned. First of all, you're describing like most Americans, okay? I think most Americans could be convinced of uh, to eat poop. <laughs> but he would only do it if a billionaire asked him to. Like, they were, the billionaire was like, this is actually leopard shit from the the mountain regions of Kazakhstan, and you have to eat it. It is the it's the greatest uh, leopard shit of all time. He would probably be like, "All right, fuck it." Learned from that mistake, and new people entering into their sphere of influence, into their circle of trust, puts them on guard because any new person that is coming into a billionaire's life typically has a reason for being there. One of my tricks in working with billionaire clients early on in my career was working for free. I offered if up If you're a startup, and obviously you the billionaire need can afford it, but it was the gesture. I'm not going to treat you differently from anybody else. What else? Can Wait, what? Wait, stop. A reason for being there. One of my tricks in working with billionaire clients early on in my career was working for free. I offered up commissions, and obviously the billionaire can afford it. He said Here's a nifty little trick for the wealthiest on the planet. Work for them for free. I am losing my fucking mind right now. He doing tricks on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, he, I feel like he literally thinks billionaires are like gods. Like he thinks that they are not he, like, what the fuck? Yo, this is crazy. This video was awesome. Remember when Ryan lost his job on the day that you watched his house video? I do remember. As our kitchen. It spans what? from one end of the house. Dude, why is there always a milkshake duck moment for every single fucking million dollar listing New York? Ryan Serhant gets fired and loses potential $8 million commission. What? While we were watching him talk about his apartment, he lost his job. putting pussy on a pedestal he's putting penis on a pedestal well maybe some female billionaires too so you know some pussy as well <laughs> he said use yourself as a sacrifice yeah dude billionaires love when you do when you sacrifice your time and effort for free for them they can buy it which makes it even better it but it was the gesture i'm not going to treat you differently from anybody else what else can i do the other thing that i did to make sure that the billionaires knew that i wasn't taking it bro you just described treating him differently than everybody else and then said i'm not going to treat you differently than anybody else no you did you would never forego commission on any of your other projects, okay? No, you literally just said work for free. Are you out here working for free all the time? Is there is there more pro bono work that you're doing as, as a realtor? Or is it just for the billionaire? You just said, I bend over and I spread the cheeks for this particular billionaire, and then I tell him, this is exactly how I behave for everybody. Motherfucker, yeah, he did charity for, he, he did pro bono for a billionaire. What the fuck? advantage of them ever was to get in with their outer circle of trust whether it's the landscaper or the nanny or the private banker or the attorney as quickly as that trust can be understood it can be destroyed billionaires also have no issue in moving on from relationships that don't serve them in like a millisecond you have a 10 dude this entire video is talking about how sociopathic these fucking freakazoids are but like somehow that's good. Why is that good? Because they have that money. Like no other class, no other fucking uh, uh, level of wealth would you ever put up with this level of like sociopathic behavior. But because they're billionaires, like it's sick. It's actually fire. It's so cool. Billionaires don't watch the top of the hour ad break. And it's actually great that they don't watch the top of the hour ad break because they can afford the $5 a month subscription. They can also afford a free one in the form of a Twitch Prime. Now, of course, you too can do that and live like a billionaire and gift subs is, as well and allow others to live in a similar fashion if you choose to do so. That's right. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to <laughs> see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, baby. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, in fact, you pay for the sub for free. Chuck Steaky, thank you for the five gifted subs. Junior Turtle, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Some Oilers in the chat. I don't understand this. I've just never felt this level of idolization. Like, I've never idolized someone this much. Anonymous gifters, thank you for the 10 or 5 gifters, sorry. Um, I've never, I've never idolized someone this much except for LeBron James, and he deserves it. Technically, a Twitch Prime is kind of like a billionaire gifting you the sub. How's La Flop doing now? Joke owns that bum. Yeah, okay, we'll see tonight. We'll see tonight. Tonight's going to be different. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to fake like I watch any of this shit. I don't give a fuck. But, like, maybe. In a couple hours, we'll see. Trombi Pulator. Thank you for the five get the subs. 10-year working relationship with someone who's incredibly successful and wealthy. You lie to them once. Make one little mistake. You don't show up on time once. You lead them down the wrong path once. That's it. They now lose all confidence and trust in you. And there are other people who do what you do. What the fuck, dude? This video is literally please me lord. Ryan has master skills storytelling. I did not think for a second. Close the video until it ended. Exactly what I needed to watch. You, the person who focused most on your on most of your time on your craft, reading and gaining knowledge every day, wasting no time. You will be in the elite category one day. Just keep going. Don't lose focus. Bro, what do you mean? He is already an elite. He sells houses to billionaires, dog. The fuck? What is the elite category? Corey Chase's stepson and Sakura Gore. Thank you for the... Five gifted subs. This is a very sly and very clever way to let all the ultra wealthy know I'm your real estate guy. I'm the guy that understands you and what you want. And if 94 other billionaires trust me, no reason why you shouldn't be my 95th. And it's not just for the billionaires, but all those wealthy clients who want to be associated in that league. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but this guy is literally right. American Psycho 73 is not even wrong. That is precisely why this video was made, I think. I never thought that I would actually see such a fat nugget of wisdom in a YouTube comment section. I'm going to I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Aboard the baby. Aboard the baby. Thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. They have loyalty when the relationship works on both sides. If it doesn't, they move on. Another thing I've learned from billionaires is that they understand the difference between... Okay, uh, so what did we learn? We learned that they text all the time, so no phone calls. And also, they don't trust easy. And they will drop you like a bad habit. They will drop you immediately the moment that you fuck up. All right, so uh, fellas, 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 fellas. Don't ever fuck up around a billionaire. You know what I mean? Sigma Grind said, uh, if you want to be like billionaires, if you want to behave like billionaires, cut everyone out of your life. Cut them. Cut them out of your life. Your mom, she delivered hot pockets to you, but the but the middle side, the middle of it is too hot, and it and it actually hurt your tongue a little bit. It's over. Cut her out. Cut that bitch out. She's out. She's out of your life. No more. Sorry, mommy. I'll be getting my dino tendies elsewhere. I live life like a billionaire, okay? No shot, abandoned. Abandoned immediately, abort. I don't trust easy. It's gonna be, gonna be hard for me to trust again. I trust this Hot Pocket, but not, not you. <laughs> Selling the idea of a billionaire is the best gig. Um, so yeah, let's get to the spending part. I mean, possessions. My son struck out at baseball today. <laughs> Wait. 
My son struck out a baseball today. He's homeless now. That's right. He's living under a fucking bridge. It's over for you, kid. It's over for you, bucko. How am I supposed to have confidence in you if you can't even fucking play, you know, little league baseball games correctly? Stop wasting my fucking time. Immediately, I got in the car. No phone calls. Texted my wife. Said I'm going to come inside of you right now. And that's how we do it. New child out in nine, in, in seven months, as a matter of fact. We go for the C-section, primo, every time. Most efficient way to have a child. And growth. And they're not afraid to spend. Now, that might sound obvious to you, but it's interesting to watch someone who has a net worth of over $1 billion be incredibly cheap over here and then overspend over here. They might kill a deal over $5 over here because they understand that this is not gonna do a whole lot for their success, for their long-term growth. But they'll overspend over here by millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars because it's an investment in greater growth. Now, a lot of billionaires have very cool material goods, huge houses, planes, automobiles. Calling preemies primos from now on in, na in my natal care unit? Yeah, they're primos. Preemies. Primos? Yeah, like Prime, Amazon Prime, you know what I mean? Deals, trips, experiences. But if you didn't know what they looked like, you good take. That's why Elon overspent on Twitter by 20 billion because he was a great, that was a great investment for him. You typically wouldn't notice them when you walk down the streets because they're not super flashy. They don't wear their wealth on their clothes most of the time. Most. I love Succession, but the worst fucking thing that it created was, like, all the stealth wealth TikToks. It's so annoying. It's like, oh, my God. Like, this is a cashmere sweater that's, like, seven grand, and it looks identical to the fucking same sweater you get at Gap. Like... It's just so fucking annoying. Everybody that loves, like, stealth wealth shit. Most billionaires are pretty frugal when it comes to material possessions. The great example is obviously the, the succession didn't start that. No, the wave, the new wave on TikTok about stealth wealth does. Uh, it, it started off with like succession. It, it reignited it. Stealth wealth has always been a real thing, obviously. But I'm just saying that like succession basically reignited that on TikTok. The quiet luxury. The opposite of fucking nouveau riche. Bro, they have super yachts. How are they frugal? Yeah, Laura Piana shirts. Exactly. My man knows. Exactly. Yo, this is Laura Piana. Five grand. <laughs> Even though it's like basically the same fucking thing that you could get for $30. <laughs> like, this bunk ass Hawaiian shirt is actually 1000 No, that is the opposite of stealth wealth. Gucci would be incredibly gaudy, uh, gaudy, not gaudy, gaudy in this regard. No, it's, it's not, that's not stealth wealth at all. Leave Warren Buffett, same house, same car. Same Most of your takes are literally leftist TikTok talking points. You trying to sell the idea that being rich means you're a bad person while being a multimillionaire is so funny to me, lol. Bro, you don't even like me. So you obviously agree. Yes, I'm a bad person in your worldview, you fucking idiot. And as a multimillionaire, I'm a bad person. So there you go. Okay? There you go. You proved the point. It's so stupid. You can't suck the cocks of every fucking billionaire while simultaneously being like, you though, on the other hand, you're the bad one. You're the only bad rich person I know. But these billionaires, they're good. I never said I don't like millionaires or billionaires. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you like billionaires and millionaires, then suck my cock right now. Suck my fucking dick. Know your place, peasant. Know your place. You are talking to someone better than you. Is that how you want the world to go? This is why it is always a bind. It is always this like weird conundrum that like 
these dumbass bootlickers find themselves in whenever they come in here to be like, I'm owning you because I'm going to say you're rich over and over again. Like, think about that. The narrative that all billionaires are bad people are so forced. No, it's not. It's actually not forced at all. It's quite literally hyper exploitation. It's the only way you can become a billionaire. There are labor billionaires, I guess, now. It's not like they're, you know, that's not how you make uh, a billion dollars. Huh. They should have you for imaginary reasons like the classy barbs. What do you mean? And it's just like so sad because even from like a liberal, even from your Philistine liberal attitudes towards like uh, how society should work and how society should operate, it's such an easy way to describe it. Okay. It's such an easy way to describe it even to someone like you. They are doing propaganda about how good they are every fucking day of the goddamn week. That's why every, of, every single one of these news outlets have sucked Elon's dick for years and years and years, even though he's like a dumb baby, okay? And you probably literally think that he's not a dumb baby for that reason, okay? That's it. You literally are eating the propaganda dick every fucking day, so much so that you've become a free 99 defender you are not a billionaire you are never going to be a billionaire and yet you defend their existence like the fucking peasant you are and then you get mad at the one guy who's telling you the situation is fucked and untenable and you get mad and then you have additional resentment because the guy telling you is also rich richer than you richer than you probably could be even though technically i am much closer to your uh, status than I am to any fucking billionaire. Like, it makes no sense. It's not forced how billionaires are made. They need to be selectively immoral to accumulate that much wealth while the system doesn't allow the majority to. From the liberal standpoint, it's just like, it literally is, it literally is a policy failure. It is just straight up a policy failure. Also, that's not the only way, lol. You are incredibly uneducated. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, dude. You're going to be there one day. Just keep defending them. No, totally. Like, you are the type of fucking dumbass, just like most other people who, like, dick ride billionaires who are the, you know, who are basically the walking, talking, living, breathing human examples that, like, capitalism is a fucking failure or awesome, depending on where you're standing, uh, depending on where you're looking at it from. You're the type of dude who goes, man, it's really fucked up that like nobody cares about East Palestine, Ohio when the derailment happened, but then can't comprehend the, the sequence of events that took place leading up to constant fucking profit seeking that is lining up the profits of said billionaires that led to that kind of poisoning, which is like not even that significant. Let's be real. It happens a thousand times a fucking year. Like, you cannot comprehend that I'm not talking about, like, e each individual billionaire is, like, a bad guy that's, like, sucking on fucking, you are drifting, lol. Oh. Sometimes I want to just, like, bring one of these fucking dumb babies in the chat and just, like, you know, slap them around a little bit. If you're a multimillionaire living in Hollywood via capitalism, you're doing good. One guy stream, if you're a multimillionaire living in Hollywood Villa capitalism, your own good. Name calling without substance, classic leftist move. Dude, you are such a fucking boner, dude. I don't know what else to describe to you. You think you're fucking owning me like L style. You're like, fuck yeah, I'm fucking destroying this guy. Meanwhile, every single person in here is looking at every, what you're saying and thinks you're a goddamn clown. Do you want to know why? Because you're defending 
a lifestyle that you are never going to achieve, a lifestyle that you're never going to see, a lifestyle that is built on the backs of dummies like you who keep uplifting it instead of looking at that and going, that level of wealth accumulation means that there is a systemic failure, okay? That's it. I know why they're literally be serious. I beg. Okay, we're done. Actually, you know what? I'm going to unban them. They can keep fucking chirping into the, uh, into the void. I, I am debating a 12 year old. Exactly. There is no, there is, there, it like doesn't even make sense from a common sense perspective. We're currently watching a guy literally describe how fucking sociopathic billionaires are and saying that it's positive. And the only reason why you would ever be accommodating to that level of like sociopathic antisocial personality disorder behavior is because of the dollar signs that you see every time you look in their direction. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Someone gifted him immediately because he was saying stupid shit. The system is abhorrent. The system that we exist under that causes your parents to be fucking fearful when they have like, I don't know, a pain in their goddamn arm or their titty because they don't know if it's fucking cancer because they don't have more than $400 to spend on an emergency medical expense. That system is designed around billionaires accumulating that level of wealth that they have accumulated so much that they do not need that their their great, 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 great grandchildren will never need, Okay. I'm sorry, even from a liberal perspective, the existence of billionaires inherently inherently shows policy failure identical to the existence of homeless people. They're robbing you blind. They're, they, they've designed the system to, to churn out these sorts of results. And you just sit there, a product of said system, and go, yeah, you know what? The guy who's trying to describe this to me, fuck that guy, actually. Not the reason why your parents are fucking terrified when they go to sleep every night of whether or not they're going to be able to make it, okay? It's crazy. This person is working by common sense logic that not all people in a group can fit a characteristic without considering that wealth exploitation is in fact a bad thing. Yeah. But that's precisely why people that have that kind of mentality come to me and say, oh, dude, but you're rich. Like, yeah, I am. Except... We're talking about, you know, nation builders. We're talking about people that are the true beneficiaries of the structures at play. I don't know how else to describe it to you. My wealth comes from this. If I turn off the stream tomorrow and never stream again, I will not make a single extra dollar, okay? That's it. I do not have investments. I do not engage in capital accumulation. That's how I make my money. I make my money off of voluntary subscriptions for the most part. Okay? Billionaires do not have to work another fucking day. They do not have to work a day, a singular day. Warren Buffett does not have to work. It's on autopilot. It's his money that he already has that is accumulating value. Okay? <sighs> this is for chatters who don't realize how you're only newly wealthy. They don't understand.